Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another aggregation that is dollar bucket. So this is also one of the important aggregation pipeline which we will be using more often. So what does this dollar bucket will do is, so it will categorize the incoming documents into the groups, so called buckets. So for example, if you are having a list of documents, it will categorize the, no, those all the documents into groups called buckets based on the specific expression or the bucket boundaries it will try to uh, assign the documents into each bucket I, 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 let's try to see some example for example let's say that we are having a persons now i will be looping over for let i is equal to 1840 and here i will be having i less than 1900 and i plus plus i am inserting some uh, records so here db dot persons dot insert many and here i can add name and here i can use something like uh, <coughs> lila and plus i and age bone or otherwise year bone year bone bone year is i that's it so let's try to press enter and we have inserted some records and see here db dot persons dot find dot count let's try to see find dot count so we have total 60 so we have a 60 documents inside this one now what i want to do is if i try to do db dot persons dot find one i will try to show you one record so here we are having a name with leela some name we are having and the year okay the, uh, we have a wrong name okay not a problem so here we are having let's try to do it again db dot persons dot drop okay and here we can use uh, this one right here bone insert it yeah so now here we are having record something like name and also year bone right now what i want to do is i want to make it buckets in such a way that the persons who are born on 1840 to 1850 1850 to 1860 so something like that 1840 1850 1860 1870 like that i want to make a bucket inside that buckets i want to group by with the age and inside the boundaries <coughs> so what what are the who are the persons belongs to this age group so i want to print the output so what i can do is here uh, first i will try to do in a such a way that cls db dot persons dot aggregate let's try to keep it yeah here and here i'll be having a dollar bucket dollar bucket okay sorry dollar bucket so this is the bucket and here first one first one in the bucket we will be having first one is the group by so which one we need to make the group by we need to make the group by with dollar year underscore bone okay so we need to make the group by dollar year underscore bone but here the year underscore bone are different different so 1840 1850 like this we are having right so now what i want to do is here inside this one so we got the group by year underscore bone now here what i want to do is so i want to have a boundaries i can create a boundaries that 1840 okay 1850 and 1860 1870 so the people who bo who born between these ages i want to know and the default one so if if nobody comes under this one so we need to give give it in a other category and the last one is the output so output which is the how how we need to show the output so the output we need to show is something like first one is the count and i can show something like count is i want to get total number of count so dollar sum one and if you want to have the uh, let's try to see it up to here so dollar count of one and i can close this one sorry i can close this one uh, and here also i can close this one also and uh, what is the thing we need to close so here group by will be closed and bucket also we need to close and like this we need to use and if i try to press enter see the persons who are born on 1840 there are count, total count of 10 members and the persons who are born on 1850 there is a total count of 10 members why because we are trying to loop over right so other people who doesn't belongs to anything is so they are on, under 
count of 30 members so this is the thing which we have got the output so like this we can make a buckets of groups so in this bucket we are able to get the output so 1840 to 1850 so these many 1850 to 1860 these many like this we are having so if you want to get the names of all the all those guys so if you want to show if you want to see the names of all those guys what we can do is so the same thing we can do here and inside this count thing uh, count sum of one and here uh, i can use something like persons so in this one uh, what i can do is um, so first one we got we want uh, dollar push okay dollar push mm, dollar push and here i can use name name and which is nothing but dollar name okay dollar name and also if you want you can also use the year born year born so that is nothing but dollar year underscore born so that's it so now if you try to see the output so now if i try to press enter so all the persons so 10 members will be pushed into a persons uh, persons embedded document like this it will be pushed if you try to see here we are getting so many documents so let's try to make it as a pretty if you try to see the pretty and other people so these are all belongs to other people so 30 members who belongs between 1870 to 1900 so these people so 1860 to 1870 so who are the people present between this 1860 to 1870 these many people are present and here you can have another count 1850 to 1860 1840 to 1850 so like this we can get the we can create a buckets list like this we can create a bucket list and uh, we can we can do it whatever we want so here like this we can do it so total number of bucket group by we can make it here and we can do it like this so bucket has a four fields we need to understand group by boundaries default and the output so this is all about the bucket aggregation thing hope you understood about this bucket aggregation and we also have an another one that is nothing but bucket auto this also works on some something like similar like this only so this is all about this bucket Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.